Can you imagine if you're a Republican uh, office holder right now? It's becoming very clear. You know, the Republican National Committee, one of the things they do, they control funds. They dictate what the party planks in the platform are going to be. And if you disagree, your ass is cut out. You're, you're, you're told, you know, get out of here. Go go sell pencils on the street and see if you can raise enough money to run your little shitty campaign. Haley said, quote, think about what's happening right now. Is that how you're going to try and take an election? End quote. And then later in the day, she went further than that. She said that Trump, quote, is going to try and continue to take the party so that it does what he wants it to do. Nikki, 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 where the fuck have you been? Right now, Trump owns the U.S. House of Representatives. That has become his little playroom. That is no longer the House of Representatives and a good chunk of the Senate now. Neither is any longer a separate entity and part of the United States government as mandated by the Constitution, by the elections of the voters. No, the House of Representatives belongs to Donald Trump. A chunk of the Senate in the Christian Fascist Party belongs to Donald Trump. It it has become that severe because these so-called Republicans... These men, I watched Steve Scalise the, other, Scalise the other day going on and fucking on and on about why the border bill that Republicans and Democrats had worked on for three months, why Scalise and the rest of these vermin, the rest of these vermin had decided, now nah, we're not going to do it because Trump told them not to. And of course, Scalise could not admit that. But Scalise is another one. Another one. He looks like a white man. He's really a white coward, just a little shit that will do as so many of these uh, so-called Republicans do. Exactly what Donald Trump tells them to do. No deviation. What a bunch of cowardly little bastards. I mean, okay, calm down. (laughs) Now, after Nikki Haley said that at a couple of her political rallies, Trump's, um, part of the Trump um, um, high command, this this creep named Stephen Chung, who is Trump's campaign a, a spokesman, he was asked for comment about what Haley said. And he said this to NBC News, quote, Nikki brain dead bird brain Haley reeks of desperation as it's clear she knows she has no shot and is now auditioning for a cable news contract when her 15 minutes are over, but not before she can squeeze every last dollar out of her Democrat benefactors. Oh, my God. This is what you say when you are utterly convinced that your fascist owner... And Donald Trump owns these son of a bitches. Stephen Chung probably has to get permission before he goes to take a leak. A permission from Donald Jesus Trump. And you can tell that that is the case when he makes statements like that. I mean, referring Nikki Haley to brain dead bird brain Haley. Brain dead bird brain. I mean, it's like Stephen Chung is opening his mouth wide enough for Trump to stick his tongue into Stephen Chung's mouth and say, these are the words I want you to say. And then Chung turns around and says them. Oh, that's kind of a sickening image, isn't it? Um, on Monday... That's when the Antichrist endorsed this guy from North Carolina, Michael Whatley, to be the next head of the RNC. And he said he supports his daughter-in-law, Lara, for co-chair. This is what Trump said on Monday, quote, 
I think my good friend Michael Watley should be the RNC's next leader. He has been with me from the beginning. He's done a great job in his home state of North Carolina, end quote. Now, Watley is an election denier. He will still tell you right to your face, even though he is an attorney. Boy, I'll tell you, Trump's lawyers have just spread dirt, filth, animal droppings all over the legal profession. I wonder if it's going to be able to recover. But he serves as the chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party, and he's also general counsel for the Republican National Committee. And previously he served on the uh, Trump-Pence campaign and trained no experience. (laughs) She assisted the Antichrist in his 2016 and 2020 presidential campaigns. I don't know what she did, lick envelopes or something, put up bumper stickers, I don't know. Oh, and she was an on-air contributor to the Fox sewer. Well, there's the only qualification she needs, I guess. And Trump also said in that statement that he's supporting Chris Lasivita, a senior advisor to his re-election campaign, to be the RNC's chief operating officer. Well, there you go. Huh? Now, there, there have been some recent signs. I, I, I love the way this is put. There have been some recent signs that Ron McDaniel would soon step down from the RNC leadership role she's held since January 2017. With the New York Times and the Associated Press among the news outlets reporting that she could leave her position after South Carolina holds its primary on February 24th. (laughs) I love the way this shit is worded. You know, Rona McDaniel, who is, uh, uh, what's his name? Who am I? Damn it. I have another brain fart. Senator from Utah. Anyway, it's his sister. And the word has already gone out. Get rid of the bitch. I want her gone. I want her gone. Romney is her uh, her own name. It's Rana Romney McDaniel. And the word has already gone out from Trump. And, and these Republicans, these Christian fascists, will do, must do, exactly what they're told to do. Because they are no longer a political party. They are part of a cult, as I've been saying for, I don't know, what, two, three years? Jesus, has it been that long? (sighs) Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.